Hello everybody, uh, welcome to game number 10 maybe of Outcome of the Rats, I don't know what game it is. So 150 TV up, might have got matched 400 TV down if I'd had the right auger, so it might, it might be a good idea to have lost it. And is it game number 10? I think it is, yeah, game number 10. That concession was horrible, wasn't it? I mean, I've got the tools for a really good team, haven't I, eventually, the Edge 5 and the, uh, and the Horns, so the chances are there. Just need to, um, no, I should have looked at his record, or his, even his team. He's got basically uh, two Blodge and a Block Ogre, and he's won all his games. Fair dues. He's got a Wizard, obviously. But I mean, I can just go quickly against him, can't I? Uh, I can do an Inarian on him, just make it a shootout. Um, should be okay with the edge five and everything. Wizard not as like obviously it's good against armor seven, but it's not that good against wood elves, the wizard. And it shouldn't be that good against Skaven. Face cam not not yet. Not yet. When I'm when I'm not ill anymore, face cam will be on again. But um I'm still fucking bad. To invest in the Panzer Oh man, need tracks. I need, I need, I need a, I need tracks, and I need this fucking. The, there's a hull that's like um, a cabin. There's a cabin that's like a fucking tank cabin. I probably need that and tracks. Um, I'll kick and then. I'll, there's some fucking crashing. I can always hear crashing today. I don't know why. Um, oh man, block guy goes in the LS, but he's on ten. So I guess. Oh no, I've got this guy. Perfect. Perfect. Edge one side, strength the other. Won't save, I know that. Tracks and hearts. <laughs> yeah, the. There's, there's a. There's a cabin that's like a tank, and there's tracks that are better than wheels, obviously. So, I don't know. I think I just want to play it a bit, though. Play it a bit and find out. Hello, VIP bike aches. Um, and what I need to do is... I don't care that you have a fresh eating bacteria. I do care, though, Tony. This is the thing. I actually do care, so it's... Um... I don't know, I like not having it so I can just do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> and if that means taking my shirt off, I can take my shirt off, which is good. The top of the game record is not very good. Um, what the fucking, there's all doors slamming. I'm gonna have a look. Fucking hell, I checked it, R Rock wasn't dead, but obviously there's always a stun for them, if you know this. I can still hear something crashing, what the fuck, this is doing my nut in. Holy shit, nobody died yet, three dice though with Block. His uh, Block my blow is going to be painful, isn't it? That's the thing, I'm a 150 TV up. If I had the rogue, I'd probably just been 300 TV up. Like, that's the, that's the sad thing about the fucking ladder, isn't it? And obviously you don't know, but there's so few play, people playing, you're probably going to get matched who you're getting matched against anyway. Could run the gutters through here, couldn't I? Oh my god, these doors are doing my nudge and I'm going to have to shut all the windows. Oh, I can't 
Right, I might be able to, uh, might be able to, if I pow him, I can, uh, make, I can go run through, can't I? I think that's worth it. Sure, he can do a pass play. But, um... Nah. Shit. Only the gutters can get through then. That's a shame. Maybe I could double man somebody. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Probably they can probably do that, can't they? No, they can't. How about this one? He could get all the way out of there, so I could go one, two, three, four, something like that. I guess he wants to stay back then. I mean, they can only blitz one, can't they? This guy, uh, double GFI to base him. Seems shit. Could double base this guy? Could double get base this guy? He could just move everyone, though. He can just blitz this guy. And then you can fucking make a cage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a strong cage here. So maybe stand him up. Base this guy. Base that guy. Nah, base this guy. Fucking tough, innit? I don't just want him to let him blitz him and then make a big cage. But then don't just want to give up blocks either. This one doesn't seem so bad. Neither does that one. I can't afford to give up the mighty blow block hit, can I? Yeah, I could do with a mighty blow storm vermin, definitely. Good thing is that if he does cage up over here, these guys can all stand up next to him. And this is a 1 in 9 to use a reroll, but... Bit stupid giving up that block, I think. Still, he's taken his ogre out of the main fight. And the good thing about Skaven is you can't really overcommit, can you? Because everyone's fucking movement now. Wow, he just does the, does the one dice. The reason that I put him in, because I thought I don't mind him using two guys to make that block, but he just did it with one. What a, what a motherfucker.
It's a Powers Me Bloodshot, of course. He was also going to go for him, wasn't he? Because he was facing the, facing the down guy. Yeah. Get a gut run hit, get him removed is absolutely fucking standard. Hopefully he'll do a pass and just have it fail. Surely he's just going to cage there. That makes the small sense, isn't it? Just caging that guy. But then when he does, all these can assault the cage. Is he going to pass? It looks like he's going to pass. Oh no. Say he's going to pass. Yeah. <sighs> Holy shit, he didn't fail. Hacks. Hacks, Agility 3 didn't fail. Will this be a death? No. <laughs> I think you know the answer. I mean, he's just got a score now, hasn't he? That was worth getting the fucking gutter run knocked out. Dodging a GFI, the two dice him. That's probably what I'll have to do realistically. Do the safe moves first and all that first. Stand next to him. <laughs> he can't really um, collect it, can he? Do I even go for this blitz? I just have to, don't I? Oh, I didn't think of the fucking scatter out, dickhead. Oh well, no scatter out. Should've, shouldn't have moved the last guy. He's a scanner. Can do whatever he wants now, can't he? But can't afford to give up hits, I don't think. Mm, it's worth it. Oh wow, he's gonna have to use a reroll. <laughs> Shithead humans no agility three. <laughs> Oh, man, imagine if he double scored. That would have been amazing. Ha! 
Yeah, it's okay. It's an okay place to be. We just have the wizard, doesn't he? So I can't really stall it out very well. Because um I don't really want to get a gut run of boat to do I? Guess I've got to. I mean got the got the shithead block guy. So carry also gets him another skill. Yeah, shootout would be would be the, probably the best way to play this. To be fair, wrestle can block him. I guess I could have got well no I don't want, I don't want to delete that. I really want all the touchdowns on him but I can't carry it against the position can you? Oh great. My fault for uh, not doing safe moves first there. But I mean I wanted to see what happened, didn't I? But yeah, I guess I should have done this. Then I wouldn't have had to re-roll that. To be fair though, I wanted to see how these blocks went. Oh my god. Hero line rack. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Insta, Insta Apple. <laughs> oh my god, Apple Phil! Oh yes! The Wonder Rat. <laughs> Holy shit. Good darn it, blocking with Wrestle because he had block. So it was the right play, rewarded. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, the injury would have happened anyway, though, eventually, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I guess, yeah, because I might have... Well, no, I would have had the chance of accepting the double skull. That's true. I'm, I probably wouldn't have accepted the double skull, though. Probably wouldn't have accepted the double skull. It's not. It's not. It's not a nice thing to have to do, is it? To fucking eat a double skull. Oh, I've just realised it's only 720p, isn't it? So I was streaming GTA. Shit. Sorry. Sorry to everybody watching on YouTube. It's only 720p. And I guess everyone on the stream, because some people can watch it at source, can't they? So, sorry. I mean, the this, this stream might be smoother because it's in 720 at least. Don't even need a roll, they just fucking block it with line rats. God, it's amazing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The fucking sorry, the sorry spamming was amazing, wasn't it? Holy shit! I oh, just basing everybody. Thank you for the follow, Krimals. Why well, is just basing everybody? One of those guys. One of those guys who just says, "Base everybody. Hope the million blocks I give away just a one in nine, so all your rerolls go." Oh god, this is what I miss about Blood Bowl. Not. At least he's done a half man's. Ha! <laughs> 
Robin is on pain cans, yeah it does. It does, doesn't it? They've been playing uh they've been playing cross out and they've just put in some random pins. Glad you are up to moving a mouse and clicking things today. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Tony Blaze Pearly. Yeah, just about up to it today. Just about. Ah, oh, this is a bit of shit, isn't it? Because if I get the assist on him, I can't blitz him. Anymore. What do I do? Just blitz him. And then move them both around. Blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't get the assist in there then. Don't want to fucking move a gutter forward, I guess I have to. I guess he has to blitz him. Could put a gutter in there, he could block. He could one dice blitz. Seems pretty fucking shit though, doesn't it? Nah, he used to waste the blitz. Oh my god, really? Got to, I've got to reroll because this guy, the reason that I had to do it first <laughs> was that if I won in nine, I wouldn't be fucked. But obviously, I didn't think I'd run 36 a game. Fuck's sake. Pretty annoying. Now I've got to run over here in case the 1 in 9 happens. I don't know. Wow, two two double skulls in in four turns. Isn't that a load of shit? Unbelievable. So safe moves first, just punished by a double skull. Fucking great. He's fucked now, isn't he? Still got a dodge though. He's on a seven, but then it's just it's a seventy five percent knockdown, or a fifty percent, and using an extra guy's action. But then it does use up one person's action. And he could double skull like me. He fucking won't. But he could. What a horrible thing to have to reroll. But I mean there was no way I could do save moves first there. Unless it was just one away. Which I didn't really want to do. Oh there you go. Didn't, didn't get knocked down. So I'm using players to knock this guy over. And knock back him. Could be worse. Base everyone. I can't believe this fucking moron. I hate this. You know what? This is what I hate about Blood Bowl. <laughs> right? It's such a fucking moronic strategy just to give away fucking blocks every turn. And it fucking paid off for him with a, with a two 1 in 36s in four turns. The fuck is up with that? It just does my head in. It does my fucking head in. That he's just like, Herp derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm armored. Burr, burr, burr. And then it doesn't fucking fail. I just use up all my fucking rerolls. Jesus Christ. It's so fucking dumb, isn't it? It's so dumb. Like, fuck off. As if this is the height of your fucking play is to just fucking stand people up to be knocked down. And they don't get knocked down. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> I really hate it. 
I really hate that. Oh, let's see how it works out for you, buddy. Double skull? No, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, business as usual. Getting fucking banged on. Don't forget a level you crusaders. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, VIP chat. <laughs> uh, Goliath Games. <laughs> Two hours there, never again. Oh look, amazingly, amazingly, the giving up blocks on everybody hasn't hasn't fucked him over this turn. Well call the fucking cops. Outrageous. My double skull here isn't that bad, there's still a screen. Maybe I should have followed there and then stood him up, because it would be a little bit tricky to deal with, wouldn't it? Can dodge him there though and do the same thing. But the follow-up would have been great, and then there would have been three guys. So I fucked up a bit by not following him. <laughs> And then it doesn't fucking fail, I just use it on my fucking reroll. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> yep, I do have to level up my Crusaders, thank you for reminding me. So at least he had to use three guys' actions for that, didn't he? But it would have been four had I got in, had I followed, it would have, you'd have had to use four guys' actions. You know, that's my basing. I have to use, well, I pr preferably have to use four guys to make that block. That's the kind of block I don't mind giving up. And yet he gets a stun from that. I just get double skulls from his fucking idiotic ones. Just fucking loudly. Yep, I knew he'd one dice blitz here. Because he could. Thank fuck him. Right, I think I can start... Um, Start pushing forward now. Push forward with the wraiths. There's an in joke for you. Um, if you play, <laughs> oh man! I'll tell you what was really funny. Here we are. A really funny story that no one will laugh at. Hello, nomadic Jam. Um, this is this is a really funny story for nobody to laugh at right now. Um, okay, I'll, I'll first of all we'll start with by failing this block. Yeah, excellent, excellent beginning to the to the story. Because obviously I wanted to use my blitz over here. So of course my unsafe block gets fucked right in the asshole. Um So yeah, this is a there's there's a guy who is the who was the number one um 40k player in England. And uh <laughs> he wrote a battle report. And his army was, funnily enough, exactly the same as my army, which was, uh, you know, fucking wraiths and everything. All, all the overpowered shit, basically. And his battle report was, <laughs> I pushed forward with the wraiths and then killed everything. Essentially, every single game is like, I pushed forward with the wraiths and then, you know, fucking shot some guys with my guns and killed everybody and I, it was just so funny that every every single battle report was push forward with the rates <laughs> and like because there's nothing else you can do you know they fuck, they've got no fucking guns and they've got um they've, they've got no guns they're amazing in combat they can't die 
There's only one strategy, and that's <laughs> and that's to fucking bez forward with them, because you've got 18 of them. And uh, I posted I posted the photo of my game on Discord. Uh, the of my game, my team. I'll, I can I could I could do it again or find it. Oh, I can't find the link. Can I? Who am I kidding? But um, if you've ever played 40k, the army is 18 wraiths, which are like. Um, they're oh yeah, OP as fuck. Uh, unkill. They're almost unkillable, right? And he had eighteen of them. And I had eighteen. I just co I just copied his army because I was like, that's a good army, isn't it? Um, fucking planes. Necrons have planes, right? Which basically can't die, and are amazing, and makes their troops be able to go wherever the fuck they want at the end of the game. Ridiculously overpowered. Um, yeah, destroyer lords, which were ridiculous in combat, which joined the wraiths. Um, and then you have annihilation barges. It's all changed now, but at the time it was all OP. Everything in the army was overpowered as fuck. So your troops, your, your troops aren't even on the board. Your troops are planes, and then your troops come down on the last turn of the game to get objectives, right? So you've got, you've got literally on the board, you've got eighteen wraiths, two destroyer lords, um, and three annihilation barges. The annihilation barges are like tanks that can't die, and your wraiths are like rock hard combat people that can't die. So. And the, the the extent of the strategy every single turn is just bez forward with everything and shoot your three guns. And then there's, there is some strategy with the, with the planes, fair enough, but not that much because they're obviously all overpowered as fuck in general, our planes. And, uh, and it's just brilliant. He's just like, he's writing this thing, push forward with the wraiths. <laughs> he was so clever. <laughs> like he was some kind of tactical mastermind. <laughs> push forward with the wraiths. So um, me and my friend... Just cause he had he had the army as well because he already had a Necron army, so he got the army, and uh, so we both turned up with exactly the same army as this guy, which is why he was the top. Because amazingly enough, when we used the uh, same army as him, we fucking won tournaments as well. Unbelievably, having the best army makes a big difference in 40k, just quietly. And uh, yeah, it, it got a lot worse, but at the time it was uh, it was so overpowered. I can't believe I made that block instead of just dodging away. I could have just dodged them both away, couldn't I? Even. But then what if I won in 36s? Nah, I don't, I don't still play 40k because... Oh man, I quit. Quit. Very funny story. No, it's not really. I played this guy. <laughs> and his beardy army of choice was... An army that consisted of two units of like... Five Nurgle, uh, five plague bearers or whatever. I think five plague bearers or ten plague bearers maybe. Two units of ten plague bearers, um, and then he had like three, five demon princes, right? Five demon princes and two units of shithead. Two units of shithead demons as troops, and um, and every single turn he was like taking quarter of an hour to move his five fucking models that have a 360 line of sight right and he's just like five fucking minutes f 15 minutes to move your five fucking guys what a complete knob rat i couldn't believe it and then because he knew he was going to lose right so i'm playing my my turn in like two minutes with all my all my men with loads of guns and everything did I have loads of guns? Yeah, I had loads of guns that time. I had, I had, I had, oh, <laughs> I, had I had a different read of. Oh, he's just giving me the middle here, hasn't he? Um, he. Uh, I should have moved this guy first. That was a tactical error. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Over there. Bums follower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could go over there. No. He can dodge out. And go around there as well. Okay, put him there and then see what happens with everybody else afterwards. I guess he's going to do a fucking fireball here. But, um... What can you do? Oh, 
nice. There's all screens everywhere, isn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so this guy just took all this time, right? And then the people organizing the tournament are like, that's time on the round. You don't have time for any more turns. We're just going to call it now as a draw. And I'm like, I can wipe him out. So after he does this every turn, right, I complain about him stalling. And then, because he's arguing over rules that are wrong all the fucking time, just to, just to stall, right? So I complain and say he's just stalling, right? You know, and then they're like, they, obviously they agreed with me because they absolutely have to agree with me because I was right. So there was no even, there shouldn't have been any discussion. He shouldn't have even been arguing. I was right, he was wrong. It's clear as day in the fucking rule book. And then after they had resolved it and, 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 agreed, and agreed with me, he still kept arguing all the time just to kill time, still taking his 20 fucking minutes to do his fucking movement. Uh, you know, five fucking guys, and obviously less as I was killing them. So now he's got like three people left, and he takes fucking 15 minutes to move three fucking guys. And then there's time on the round, and I'm like... First of all, he's been stolen all the time. You've come here to... He, he didn't stop arguing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm fucking... And I'm rolling the dice as I'm arguing with them, right? They're saying I haven't got time. And I roll the dice to kill his last demon prince. And I'm like, there you go. I've rolled the dice. How can you say I haven't got time? I've literally done it. And then... So, so it was a draw. And I was pissed. I was really, really, really fucking pissed that he just... He just got a draw out of that game by... You know, cheating without cheating, basically. It really fucking pissed me off. And it was at that point that I realised 40k was not a competitive game. <laughs> you cannot make it competitive, can you? Because it's just not possible. Not to mention everybody who moves 5 inches instead of 4 inches and stuff like that. 7 inches instead of 6 inches. Every single turn. Oh, you've got 24 inch range guns. Oh, suddenly they're 25, aren't they? Oh, got to give your opponent the benefit of the doubt. And all this kind of shit. Um, no, I just called him a cunt all the time, and then he, 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 <laughs> he, uh, he tried to start a fight with me, I think, in the, in the pub afterwards. No, I just told him, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, he really pissed me off. He was like, I, I, people say you've been calling me a cunt, and I was like, yeah, you are a cheating cunt. <laughs> he fucking was a cheating cunt. How can you be a cheating cunt and then get pissed off when somebody calls you a cheating cunt? It's like somebody I know who's a lying cunt and he got pissed off when I called him a lying cunt. Don't fucking tell lies then. It was a proper, you know, the fucking... G the, there was, there's like a tournament scene of Warhammer. It wasn't at Warhammer World. It was, um, it was some random fucking place. Um, but, you know, like, it was the, it was the UK... 40k tournament scene is um, is what it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just don't double skull this. Anything but a double skull. I guess I could have just done the dodge, right? But this way I'll get the chance to kill him. Oh, I could have fouled! No, I couldn't. There was no re hit. I didn't want to make another block. Exactly, nomadic jam. Exactly. Yeah, there is a time limit. That's why I got the draw, which is. But it, it should have been a time limit per player turn. But then your opponent, you know, then when I shoot his guys, he takes ages to make his saves and everything. So you can't even do that. You can't control the time properly. And like blood ball's good because you you can have the four minute turn per player. You know, that's 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 way way enough four minutes per turn. But even then, you know, like, they could decide whether to use sidestep on my turn, couldn't they? If it was just, like, per turn, you, you could block somebody and you go, all right, look, I've got Brett's. I'll have to decide whether to use Fend here. If you've got a four-minute turn turn timer, eh, buddy? Oh, I'm just going to think about Fend for about, about four minutes, really. All oh, right, you've run out of time. Oh, I guess I guess that's my turn then, right? So you can't even have a, a proper competitive turn timer in... In Blood Bowl, really, like, obviously, Blood Bowl's different because they give you fucking two hours for a game and what have you. But this cunt, who fucking cheated against me, could would have done it then. There's, like, five turns or something. Five or six turns. So, well, at least at least five, I think there was. He was taking, like, half an hour a turn. It was, it was a joke. It was an absolute joke. It, it really, really wound me up. And then, obviously, I've got to think a little bit on my turns, you know. So, um... So that wasn't good. Like, I can't just hammer through my turns as fast as possible and not think at all. I had to think on my turns as well. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, what I would, you know, uh, what 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 you, what you do on the tournament scene is what what the best thing they did was um, the best thing they did for the tournament scene in the UK was well, not was in 40k is you could um, you could measure it right, you could pre-measure. So I'd have my guy here and this guy here, and I would say that's over 18 inches away, right? And he goes yes, and then he would try and charge next turn, right? And I'd be like, you can't charge, and he's like, but this is 12, I'm in range, and I'm like, literally you can't. I s I was 18 inches away, I was more than 18 inches away last turn. You literally can't do that, and he's like, you must have measured wrong then, and I'm like. Oh my god, you know, this is the whole point of it. if somebody's a complete cunt, they can argue with you. But if they've got a brain in your head, you're like, you agree this is over 18? And then they go, yes. And then you know you can't be charged or whatever. And then you go, right, this is 15 inches away, right? And then they go, yeah. So when they move six and they're all at nine, they get in. And I'm like, no, you're not in. You're not in, because that's 15. And we fucking measured last turn, and you were over 15 away. So you can't fucking argue. So why don't you just fuck... Oh god, I really... And it just, it just went on and on and on and on and it's just impossible you know it should be squares blood ball's the best thing like hexagons or something it should or, or on a pc then there's no arguments is there right because then all of the rules even if they're touchdown fouls the rules are, are the rules aren't they and you play by the fucking rules but um if if there was a game like fumble for, for 40k it would be amazing or like blood ball 2 for 40k none of this shit like uh Dawn of War or any of that crap. I don't I don't want to play any of that shit. But if there was just a, a PC version of um <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh. If there was a if there was a 40k uh a 40k like tabletop 40k game on PC it'd be awesome. Right. One in nine. Don't want to risk the one in nine. I want to have the gutters here, don't I, to shore this up. Really want a guy out there, though, which means I'm going to have to risk the one in nine before the pickup. I guess if I fail the pickup, it's not that bad. Yeah, Dawn of War, you know, like, it's not, it's not my game, not my kind of game. Yeah, it does Pedro Jack, I don't know what I'd have to do, I'd have to win a few games, but, um, it's possible. I'm just not going to care too much about qualifying, and I've, I've already given back the PS4. Um, the PS4 thing always had the potential to be dodgy anyway, the fact that it wasn't my account. And you know, everybody knew it wasn't me playing on it, so... Insta, Insta KO. Can't really complain, can I? With getting him out. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten v ten. And two stuns, but it was quite nice, wasn't it? it doesn't really matter in turn turn one. Yeah, that's the that's the problematic jam. That is the problem. It literally doesn't matter in 40k tournaments if you know all the rules. When you get in problems, when you get problems is when somebody else doesn't know the rules. That's when you get the fucking arguments about the rules. Like when when I was playing with my friends or, or the top guys, they know the rules, so they don't don't argue. When you're playing someone who's a shitter, he just argues over every little thing because he just doesn't fucking know the rules. Oh my god, it really pissed me off. Could almost surf him, couldn't I? Almost. Could pin him. Pin him against the sidelines, probably worth it. But then less chance of a knockdown, isn't it? Probably worth taking there. No. He could pin me, though. Counter pin me, couldn't he? I guess maybe just take the block. Blitz here. 
play it safe against the wizard. Right now the double skull. I'm not. I'm going to re-roll the double skull anyway. Who am I fucking kidding? Oh yes. Good job. He's got block though. Block's a pretty good skill, isn't it? Just quietly. <laughs> Just quietly, blocks a pretty good skill. Yeah, fucking 40k is a joke. It, it can never be a competitive game. Just with the, the times and everything. The, 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 the measuring and the rules and everything. But even then, even if they come with their own rulers, people still just over move. People still, oh, okay, no, it's got the whole thing. All right, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. But people, people put, people measure and then take away the fucking measuring thing. You know, that would be amazing. That though, I really like that. Holy shit, that dude. But you know, you move it, you move a squad, don't you? And then you can't be bothered. To, like you know, people who move orcs are the worst. You know, because they can't measure. 120 guys. Oh yeah, that's what we think. That's what we're thinking of doing. Just taking like an orc army with like 180 people, and 180 orcs in an army, and just go, and just go right. Gonna measure. I'm gonna measure this. Measure the next guy. Think about what to do. And um, yeah, that's the classic. For but feel just measure and take it away. And all sorts of things, and and even even not just doing that, just an extra few millimeters every time. I don't. And they move a unit of orcs, and the first one moves six inches, and then the second, the second one moves, you know, seven, and then back, some of them are moving ten inches. The guys at the back. It's a fucking joke. Right, a power here would be very nice for protecting him, wouldn't it? Good. Good. Now that I know he's protected, that 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 then can decide on the blitz, which I think is gonna be this guy, even though he's got block. Safe moves first and all that. Ooh, there's a hole here. I didn't see that. I didn't really twig there. That was a hole. For some reason, I was thinking that was covered. What, can this guy get there? Yeah. He can get there, perfect. This would really like to be a power then, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Shout a shock the lad. Oh, yeah, 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 the free pivot, yep. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. <laughs> I mean, that that's that's within the rules, though. You know, technically. Technically, that's... Oh, my God, all the, all the resist. That's just beardy, the pivot. The pivot to get the inches is fine. Yeah, top, a proper tabletop would be amazing, yeah. Exactly, no arguing, no fucking cheating. Like the pivot thing you could do. <laughs> you want my babies? Okay, Goliath. Yeah, just keep saying sorry. We've learned from that. <laughs> from that fucking dating game yesterday if <laughs> you just say sorry <laughs> repeatedly say sorry eventually you'll get the girl that was a good fireball by him wasn't it there i mean it was i think it was a bad time for a fireball if he gets this guy down unless you get even if you like there's still a screen to stop him getting the ball so this guy down is no good this guy down is also no good so you'd need to get two of those three down to get to the ball two or three to get the ball or obviously the ball itself so i think it was probably bad <laughs> I 
Got to make sure you work on your hobbies and your jobs as well. <laughs> and then just say sorry all the time. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's hard. It's like, I don't know. People, when people would accuse me of cheating, it's like, oh, I just don't really care if the guy's behind it, where they're moving and stuff, is it? And like, it doesn't matter if the guys at the back move a little bit further, but people with awful fuckers because they're trying to get in combat. I'm like, does it really matter that I haven't moved this guy precisely the right amount? But obviously sometimes it does. If it did matter precisely, I would move them precisely. But a lot of the time it doesn't matter, does it? But then those fucks that just move extra inches all the time. God, they really grind my gears. Oh, look at this fucking shit, man. It just does my nut in. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is he? The fuck is he even doing though? I right, still got a screen, as lame as it is. All right, gonna make the follow and hope to get that in. I really want to pow now though, don't I? Just quietly. Alright, good. Three, four, five. Like if I'm powered in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, gear five. Don't know what I would have had to do. Blitz him and dodge him away or some bollocks. Right, so could blitz him and then go three, four, five, and then two D him. Game plan of giving up as many blocks as he can. Let's hope it doesn't work out for him. And then, you know, so I'll make all my blocks and think about, oh, is it worth giving up this block to stand him up? Think all my turn about, it. is it worth that? Or dodge out or whatever. And then this guy is just like, just give up loads of blocks for no reason. No worries. The maths don't lie, and it spells disaster for you with sacrifice. <laughs> like, is it worth dodging him out? Standing him up, you'd need two players. And then he could follow and then blitz one of these and block the other one, stand all these guys up. If I dodge out, if I don't stand up, he just comes in here and does the same. I don't want to re-roll the dodge. With only four turns left, got to re-roll every turn, I could re-roll the dodge. Just seems low low value though, doesn't it? I mean, it does. there's a, there's a screen here though at the moment, he could run everyone around and put pressure on. Okay, re-roll re the dodge. So, so I think all that time, use a reroll and get stunned. Fucking brilliant. He's just like, base all you guys without a fucking care in the world. <laughs> Nothing bad happens. <laughs> oh fuck off. His spunks is. Sp yeah, but I had I had four for four turns if I didn't use it, so that was why I did it. If I wasn't going to re-roll it, I probably wouldn't have tried it. But, you know, all that thinking and then that's what you get. Just fucking failed. Oh, man.
Well, it's 1-1. But yeah, it's obviously looking good. It's looking pretty fantastic, isn't it? After him spunking his wizard. Got the ball. Now that's glorious. Glorious. Thank you very much for the sub back there, Phil. Uh, welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much. Look at that. Two stuns. You know, I think all that time thinking, all oh, right, he's going to get the blocks in there, stand them, blah, 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 blah. If I just hadn't dodged out, I'd dodge out to stop. That would have shut all this shit down, dodging out of there. That's why I thought it was worth a reroll. TBH. Um... Split my team up here, aren't I? Take him down. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Given given his choices in this match, <laughs> given his tactical decisions, if you can call them that, I don't believe so. I guess I can just blitz with him, kind of, because he's strength four. Make a block with uh, Russell first, just in case. Outrageous. All right. That was great getting that power. Gets to base him. You can blitz him and then base the ball. Terrifying prospect. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could hit the, could one dice the ball, so just come back to here, I guess. Yeah, I guess I should base forward next turn. I shouldn't be so so mad at my opponent playing bad, obviously, because if your opponent plays bad, you've got a better chance to win. But it just fucks me off that, like, you know, I'll consider a play, make what I think's the right decision, one in nine and get stunned. And he, his, he'll just move at random and not get punished. <laughs> yep. Yep, back on the blood ball. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I bet he feels he's doing a good job for me, but he probably does think that, yeah. <laughs> he probably literally does think that. But I mean, that's the thing about Blue Ball, isn't it? It's a funny old game. It is tough for beginners, to be fair. And you know, he could just be new, and I'm probably being mean unnecessarily. He's probably new, and he probably thinks humans can beat up Skaven, so getting in contact is a good idea. You know, if he, if he's new, then it's... And he could just be bad, and there's no need to fucking be, be nasty to people because they're bad, is it? I'll end up going the full loop back if I do that, but it's just annoying. Annoying when you guys die and shit, and you get out bashed, and like, you know, just his things don't fail. It was the fact that I'd used the two, the two, uh, the two rerolls, the two double schools in the first few turns was just super annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that, that looks good enough. There he is. I 
<laughs> this guy in the phone can't be bothered with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Right, he wants to get forward. And then have... a screen in front. And him out in front. He can get to here probably, can't he? Because he's a skaven, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. So I actually should should shut down the backside a little bit. Yeah, the rogue the rogue has suffered a serious retirement. What would you do from the oppo side? It's a good question. It's far hole devil. I wouldn't have scored in three turns on my offense, first of all. I would have um I would have kept my wizard and used my wizard. Um Oh god, yeah, I should set up the bot to give me to give me reminders to level up my crusaders. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you for your happy channels. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting I'm having to level them quite regularly now. Level eight five two with just in the gold find formation. Maximum gold find. 12 Crusade, on the event, the event free play. You're just purely maximum gold find. Not even trying for damage on 853, that's pretty good. About a, about a cap though, yeah, capped. Cap the, uh, cap the exterminator then. No, I've got Ciceron. I could go max damage and see how far I can get. Just for the shits and giggles. Yeah, slower attack and use the wizard. I mean, he used the wizard on defense, but he used it in a bad spot. So I would have saved the wizard for a better spot. And, uh, yeah, slower offense, yeah. Maybe I should have gone for SPPs this game, but the thing is, if you, it's always a trade-off. If you go for star player points, there's more chance of, um, there's more chance of, you know, more contact involved, isn't there? More blocks given away, and I'm all about giving up as few blocks as possible. Um, nah, this is a bit shit having a block without block. Good, got look a bit. I've had some good ice, to be fair. This second half. I want to take the extra square just to push him to there. He's doing exactly the same thing as the first half, which was like basically overcommit that side so I can run out here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine squares is a lot, isn't it? He can actually just go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could one do that guy, but there's no real. Ah, there is a real need. I just base him, one day him, and dodge the other guy. Hmm, but then that 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 ties him up, doesn't it? Which is all right, actually. So yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it is disgusting after being used to anything other than Skaven. The fact that the guy that was covering the backside is now suddenly, like, just moves nine and he's over there, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Never robbed a Thunderbolt, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wow. 
do less damage when Ilsa comes in. That's funny, isn't it? Nate's a big boost. <laughs> yeah, I did play it. I played it. On stream. Right, so can three dice him? From zero chance of a turnover? Well, okay, not zero. But, um, less chance of a turnover. Guess I should have handed it off to him. Well, no, I don't want to risk it, do I, with it being one more. Get him in for the assist. And him, can he assist too? Yeah. Good. Can I go right at the corner and all the way back out? Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh man. Look at the titty foul. <laughs> yeah, I love it when it's a ninja or dead. That's the they're the best times. Dodd foul, yeah, the Dodd foul. I'm just gonna backline it. He seems pretty. He's three and zero though, but he doesn't seem very good at blood ball, so I don't think he'll be able to do the one turn. Also, he probably just wants to fucking foul somebody now that uh, now that a titty foul. It's psychological warfare as well, as well isn't it? The titty foul. <laughs> foul the force of a medium. Changed to DPS and got to 870. It's alright though, isn't it, without any buffs. And still mostly gold anyway. It's not full. It's not full DPS. 
switch to some DPS. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was funny, the, uh, the medium tank. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Gunny. <laughs> That's brilliant, Jam Toast. Yeah, that is brilliant. The do they definitely should be Dord files. Yeah, thank you for using yeah. that. That's brilliant. Best fight pants. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. I'll play it again. I will. I will complete it <laughs> at some point. He looks like he's trying for the one turn, doesn't he? Maybe he does know something, after all. Oh, he's the whole method, though, you can't do the whole method. You just can't do it, it's so bad. It's so bad, like the hard part is rolling the dice to get the pushes. And just fucking giving yourself that, that like, uh, kind of worse chance. You know, like, one more push you gotta make is just bad, isn't it? Alright, 875 on the event with a mostly, mostly gold find. Formation, no clicking, no buffs. We'll get to 877. Pretty good. Oh shit, I just reset the world without getting the add bonus. <gasps> oh, you cunt. Oh my god. Oh, I hate myself. Well done, Jimmy. Way to throw away a thousand items. You cunt. Can't complain. Cheeky win. My. Okay, that's good winnings as well. Jimmy, you have to play tank models, but need to do the voices with fashion senai. Yeah, definitely. Anything less is unacceptable. <laughs> well, that's a bit harsh, but yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do, do tank models with help. That'll make it a lot better, won't it? Um, it was a bit shit, have it? like you know, I didn't want to do the voices all by myself, but um, with help, it would make it a lot better. Absolutely. Um, right, ten on the lineman. The MVP should have been the wrestle lino that killed the uh, killed the ogre, shouldn't it? Right, so it was a bit shit scoring on him again. I shouldn't have picked up with him. No, because his wizard wasn't gone after he after he used his wizard unsuccessfully. I probably should have handed it off then, shouldn't I? Uh, all right, blood step is good. Yeah, I should have handed it off after he'd used his wizard. So the strength three guy. Need need wrestle on him. Oh, doubles. Interesting. Could be dodge. Um I've noticed Tarabarala and Azure have both both gone with dodge. Just for the uh just for the survivability. Is um Is a good idea. Oh fuck! Uh, fucked up uh, this here. Right, give me a second. What am I doing? Can't play this second game. Right. All right. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm sorry. I do apologise. 
I don't know what to do, don't really know what to do with this though. It could be good. Um Could be good. Guard or dodge are both good, aren't they? I can just don't know which um which would be better. Really. Dodge is good because you've already got four dodge on your cutters and like you just want them to be dead like not die, don't you? <laughs> Suicide guard rod. <laughs> HMP <laughs> decay. <laughs> um Oh man, I don't know what I do. I could have tried his hand off to a storm of him, couldn't I? Nah, I'm not gonna take leader. Right. I'm gonna do this though. Just don't know what to take. Like, he's, he's nearly... He's six away, isn't he? So he's almost... Might survive to get a second skill. I guess he's going on the line, though, isn't he? Um, there's eight. So, like, a wrestle guy's going to have to go on the line. Guard is good. I don't know. I should have wrapped up the video, shouldn't I? Shit. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.